In this video, I will present the features available when interfacing Ava Aware's video platform with the access control platform Keep by Phoenix. We begin by creating a connection between the two instances of each platform. Starting in the device module of Ava Aware, we go to the access control tab where we'll find the access system button. We create our first connection by clicking the plus sign where we must select the Phoenix driver and give our connection a name. In this case, we're going to use Phoenix Interface. Next, we provide credentials that give us access to our Keep instance. In this case, our instance is called Ava. If the connection is successful, a green dot will appear next to the name of the connection we just created. Now that data can be shared between both instances, we can make an association between the readers available on the Keep instance with video on AvoWare's platform. I will click the plus sign to get the available list of readers. For this video, we will do a search for the main entrance. The main entrance reader has been selected, allowing us to organize the reader in our camera groupings. Also in this window, we make a link between the reader and the desired video or videos. The main entrance reader has been successfully added, allowing the Aware platform the ability to provide key functions and notifications via the Keep instance. In our Live View module, you can see the link between reader and video. Ava Aware's mapping function can create an icon of the main entrance reader, allowing for remote entry control and real-time notifications. Under the Alarm module, the Access tab will present, in chronological order, all door transactions that have readers linked to the Aware platform. If we select a random entry, we'll see the transaction status as well as name, picture, and associated video. The last benefit of connecting Ava Aware's platform with the Keep by Phoenix is the ability to create rules that will generate real-time notifications. Under our Rules module, you can create a new rule, give it a name, in this case, Phoenix Rules, choose Access Control, and then you'll see the list of available door transactions. Here we'll choose Access Denied, three, and then forced entry. The where is going to be what reader we want to get these notifications from. Here we'll choose the main entrance, could be multiple readers. When, what time do we, when do we want to get those notifications? Here we'll choose weekend, nine to five. And then how do we want to get those notifications? We create alarm, a pop-up. We're going to select Brian Meeks as the individual who will get a push to his mobile app, email, or we could use webhooks for notifications to Slack or Microsoft Teams.